Hello guys, welcome as Dr. Anjit again. So we are in the third video of Common Doubt series. So what we are going to discuss here is about Wilson's disease. It's always been in con uh, like what to say that uh, which is the best, which is the gold standard. I am going to tell what I am going to do practically. Wilson's disease liver biopsy is indicated when the person is going to have a cirrhosis, maybe for transplantation to document. That's all. Otherwise, for diagnosis, liver biopsy is rarely done. But if at all an MCQ comes with a gold standard investigation, I don't have anything apart from liver biopsy. Go with that. Otherwise, in a practical uh, case of Wilson's disease, it's been managed by only two important tests: serum ceruloplasmin levels and urinary copper levels. And obviously, of these best is urinary copper levels, for the simple reason that serum ceruloplasmin will be altered in any liver disease because ceruloplasmin is being formed in the liver, right? Hepatitis will alter it, alcohol will alter it, NASH will alter it, any liver damage will alter it. So it's it has has a confounding bias. So I'm gonna, not going to use that. Urinary copper levels, on the other hand, will not be altered with any other liver disease. So I, that's going to be the better test. Fine. So three tests. What we discuss about liver biopsy, just for MCQ purpose. If it comes as gold standard, we are going to go for that. Better among urinary copper level and serum ceruloplasmin is absolutely urinary copper level, and we know the reason as well. Fine. So click the link, following link, you will uh, redirect it to the playlist, and you'll have lots of common doubt series, and you can just go through it before you need exam. See you again with one more doubt. Till then, bye bye from Doctor Anjit. Bye bye.